often the wind as well is easterly westerly so you're taking off into the wind and landing into the wind not a problem but uh, today it's a brisk southerly as you can see in the state of the aircraft jesus Welcome to another episode of Learning to Fly, and it's going to be a short episode actually. I'm going to be doing some crosswind circuits, and it is blowing a hoolie. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Let me just try and get a shot of that uh, windsock. It's pretty much across the runway. Um, it's runway 26. That is gusty. Um, so I'm going to try a couple of uh, crosswind circuits, see how I get on. Uh, my CFI was David Young. He was at at the club and said yeah you'll be fine you know just maybe don't go off anywhere today <laughs> which isn't something I was planning on doing so I'm going to do a couple of crosswind circuits we'll use runway 26 uh, you'll see all the jumbo jets here there's one two three four five six seven eight nine jumbo jets it's ridiculous so that's pretty cool uh, so it's going to be a left crosswind we'll see how we get on Wish me luck. Camel traffic, Golf Golf Romeo, Lima Sierra's at North Sites, entering runway 26 via Bravo 1 for a backtrack. So I've got the full corrective controls in. Camel traffic, Golf Golf Romeo, Lima Sierra is lined up and taking off runway 26, that's hard. So I've got crosswind control, no flap, crosswind controls in, okay. That is a crosswind. <laughs> that is a crosswind. 200 feet, I would say flaps away, but don't need them. So that was full stick into wind pretty much, and I was still moving a bit to the right. That guy's rolling. Couple traffic, Golf, Golf, Romeo, Limitio, downwind, 2-6, grass, touch and go. Right, so downwind checks, trim, good, all clear. Well, we know the traffic's down there. Security, my harness is good, doors are all latched, happy there as well, fuel is good, undercarriage fixed and locked, no temperatures and gauges, they're really good, I'm happy with that. Right, this is going to be very quick, this leg, okay, so, just got to watch what you're doing, so let's retrim. Power's basically off, because I'm going to get carried over the ground pretty quick. I will have a stage of flap, I don't think I'll need full flap today. Okay. And then we're going to check final. And we'll turn early because of the wind behind us. Okay, bring in a bit of power. Campbell traffic, Golf, Golf, Romeo, Lima Sierra, it's final 2-6, touch and go, grass. Might get that turbulence off those trees. Right, we're in the flap limit. First stage of flap. So there's the first stage of flap. I decide to stay at one stage. When it's a bit gusty, you don't necessarily want to use full flap. And you can come in a bit quicker. Pick up that. Just, just lower that speed a touch. Of course, you need to control your speed either way. Happy with the trim levels. It's not too bad a crab, actually. I'm trying to choose which view to watch here. So you can kind of see I am crabbing. So the wind is from the left there as we look down the runway now and straightening the aircraft up as much as I can with the rudder and to stop the drift. I'm doing that with the aileron, so left stick to stop the drift into wind and then lots of right rudder to keep the nose pointing down the runway it's just one technique you can use I'm pretty happy with that do you know sometimes it's really hard practicing crosswind landings when we're on an easterly westerly strip at Kemble so runway 26 runway 08 trying to stay balanced, a thousand feet. Um, often the wind as well is easterly westerly, so you're taking off into the wind and landing into the wind, not a problem. But uh, today it's a brisk southerly, as you can see in the state of the aircraft, Jesus. 
Campbell traffic, golf, golf, Romeo, Limit Sierra's downwind, touch and go, 26 grass. Um, so yeah, you just don't get the practice, and there are other strips around here, like Bowl Down and uh, Draycott as well, have a north-south runway, so on a day like today, I suppose you could go and land in there. Look at that crab. You could go and land in there, not a problem. There's a bird, Jesus. He's having fun. He's, getting, he's got a fantastic ground speed. <laughs> right, so trim. Uh, and what's my final check? It's a lot low temperatures gauges. Yeah, they can do. Final's clear. Straight up, in balance. I won't put flap in yet, don't need it. Turn early. Campbell traffic, Golf Lima Sierra's final touch and go 26 grass. There we go. There's that crosswind. Can you see how I'm crabbing there? We're in flap limits, first stage of flap. So onto this second landing then, you can see I'm, I'm still sort of crabbing, if you like, a tiny bit down the final approach. So let's try and straighten it up. And there you go, trying to straighten the aircraft up with rudder, so wing down into the wind. So now I'm sort of in a side slip, wing down approach. And I actually really was enjoying it at this point. Travel traffic, Golf Echo Lima, Uniform November, uh, Robin D400, Inside, uh, 1 POB, taxiing to Fuel Bowser. Flaps already away. See if, what we can get in the climb today. 1500 feet a minute. Easy. But that's not even full power. I love that. You can see how arrow straight the Fosway is off to the left there. And we'll make a turn. 16, 1700 feet a minute. Full power and a 100 horsepower. Sky Ranger on the climb. So impressive. We're going to make this one to land. I feel pretty comfortable on the crosswind, actually. There's a thousand feet, level out. Oh, it's just, it's, I mean, it's choppy today. But I'm all right with it, actually. I used to hate turbulence, but you know, you do get better at it. In time, it, get, it does, you get more used to it. So of course, don't turn too early when the crosswind is coming from over there, otherwise you get pushed back and you, you're finding yourself so close to the runway. Couple traffic, Golf Golf Romeo Lima Sierra's downwind to land, 26 grass. Trim's good, fly in here, he's having a ride. So is he still, is the fly in here doing 80 miles an hour ground speed? That's the question. So trim, good. So yeah, it's at 16 knots up here. Uh, wind, 213 at 16. Let's just reduce that power. Yeah, cool, okay. And let's back it up. You, this view doesn't get old. I will say that. This view, oh, it's incredible. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't it amazing? See the Corsairs, the Jumbo Jets, one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, checking final is good. Double traffic, Golf, Golf, Romeo, Lewis, yeah, it's final to land, two, six, grass. Into that crab. We're in the flap limitation speed, I will only go, you don't necessarily want full flap when there is uh, So final, final approach, if that makes sense, similar thing really. When there is a cross. Gusty through those trees on the left, there's like a wood on the left there, that you can't quite see, so you get a bit of rotor through there, even that far away from it. You can tell, uh, 
just about to start straightening up the plane. There it goes. Right, let's get to that wing down. Lots of right rudder, left stick. Stop the drift. Stop the drift. And then trying to round out whilst maintaining those sort of crosswind control inputs is actually there's a lot going on. Whew. Jesus, that was exhilarating. Flaps away. Yeah, so there we go. That's just um, a couple of circuits today on what is a very crosswindy day. And you've got to, you've got to be careful. You, the, the, the flight doesn't stop here. A couple of traffic off Lima Sierra has vacated runway 26 graph and taxiing back to Woodside. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed an episode, which is a little bit different. I wouldn't normally just post a video all about circuits, but hopefully you enjoyed that. Smash the thumbs up. Don't forget to comment any questions. I'm not an instructor, but I'd love to answer any questions if you've got any, even if it's just about getting into flying or learning to fly. Happily, I'll answer those questions. Drop a comment below. Don't forget to share the videos if you enjoy them. Subscribe as well. I really appreciate it if you do. And I've got a really exciting video coming up, actually. I'm going to be working with Kemble Flying Club and the British Microlight Aircraft Association on how you perform a successful check flight for your aircraft. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.